Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna start a series of several video tutorials and um, we will be talking about tracking and some of the options that we have that comes with tracking. That's, that's gonna be obviously useful for those that use tracking mode, but if some of you never used or don't know what it is, I will basically explain the differences and then it's gonna be up to you if you wanna use it or not. Okay, so what is the tracking mode? So if you open the manual, and I'll be saying in most of my tutorials now where to find it and how to use the manual, so in the future you can actually find it really useful how effic efficiently you can use the manual. So if you open a manual, and like I have here, and you type in tracking in the search bar, you it will show you the, the 15.4, uh, that's all about tracking. So and then I'll show you a few of the stuff that actually explains how the tracking works. So the tracking by default, uh, let's talk about the way the MagicQ works by default and when the, track, the tracking was useful and how people used it. So by default, MagicQ records everything that's uh, in the programmer. So anything you've selected and put in the programmer that you can see in this window, that will be stored in your queue or in your playback. But in the past, uh, in the past, the, all the consoles were looking into the saving storage space when you're recording the queues in a tracking mode. The tracking mode basically records only the changes that you bring in each queue. What it means is if in the first queue you've selected had one and put it at full and uh, stored it and in the second queue you've selected the second head and you set it as at 100 and you stored it in the tracking mode it will record in the first queue only the information about the queue, uh, fixture one in the second queue it will record only information about queue uh, about the fixture two but in the result you will actually have both of the fixtures working so um, this was useful when you wanted to save a storage space on the older systems. Uh, nowadays, obviously, the storage system is not really an issue, and MagicQ very efficiently saves the the information in the uh, about in each show file. So that's not really a problem. But if some of the people, some of the users, wants to use the uh, the the tracking mode. That's not a problem at all. And during the course of these several video tutorials, I will actually show you more uh, what I mean when it comes to the tracking. Okay, so let me show you a quick example how the tracking differs from the standard uh, non-tracking mode. So when you start your show file, normally you all, uh, when it comes with a window, choose your mode, you will select normal mode. Okay, so this is, uh, I'll show you where this mode is actually, it looks like. So the in the setup window, encoder B, programming mode, at the moment that's normal. Again, if you're going to say what's the normal, if you click on this, you remember that window when you start a new show file, normal, theater non-track, theater tracking, custom, and hawk to warp. So this is exactly the window I'm talking about. So by default, most of you will select normal, and I'll show you how it works in normal, and then how you can see the differences between the normal and the tracking. So if you select, let's say, all front of house fixtures say at full record Q1. Now you will select, you can press clear, you will select record uh, the second, the, the other group, the all red at full record here, press clear, third group at full record here, press clear, and the fourth group. We press uh, select, add full, record here and clear. Okay, so by default, if you run it, that's going to be your chase. We all know that, but that's not a point of this tutorial. So first of all, let's convert it into the Q stack. So we press Q timing, yes. Now it becomes a Q stack. We can set some fade time, but you can see by default in the normal mode, the fade time is zero. And another tutorial, I'll show you how to set your uh, default fade times. But in our case, we can actually set it to two seconds if we really want to. Now, if we run the first queue, this is started and this is the first queue. Uh, this is the first look. Now we press go. And now you can see the first 
uh, fixtures, the first group of fixtures are off and the second fi uh, f um, set of fixtures are on. This is exactly no nonsense programming as you've seen because I programmed the looks, what you, s what you saw at that time, that what I've added in the program, that was recorded. Again, press next one and you can see it kills the previous queue and it, uh, previous playback and goes on the third one. Okay, this is standard way of recording when you can only see what you had at that time in the programmer. But in the theater mode, that will actually be, the data will be tracked through because I have not turned off the, queue, uh, the fixtures in the following queues. So let me show you the quick example. So you can see we have a, a column here called track. Okay, so by default it says L, which is the LTP tracking. That means it only tracks the uh, the information like position, color, go, basically everything except for the dimming information because dimming information is HTTP, which, uh, which comes with the letter H, uh, H, yes. And there's also you can track the effects, but then it's going to be F button, uh, F letter. So let me quickly show you what you can do. If you select the, the column, the track column, like that, you can press enter and then it will go through the different options h hl which means the uh, the h uh, the http data and ltp data you can press enter and then it's go through f which means it's only going to track uh, the the effects but let's be a little bit more efficient with this so whilst there is no like window like this with the options there is a little track uh, there's a little trick actually you can type in the the information you want to track through. So if you want to type H, L and F, the three letters uh, on your keyboard, H, L and F, you can see here I typed in three letters and you press enter, you will see that I actually can enter the data I want to track through. So again, if you typed only H and press enter, it will only track uh, HTTP information. Okay, so let's go again in, in our Q stack and let's see what's the difference this H uh, value is going to bring. So now if I press go, you can see that the information from the first queue stays with the information in the second queue. Why? Because what console now has been told, it says track the information from the previous queue into the new queue, which means if I press go again, now you can see that you have the information from three queues. So the first queue, the second queue and third queue. This is how the data is tracked through because let's say in the first queue, so if I press one and press go to queue, so if you look at first queue, I have information about the first group of fixtures with the intensity at 100%. Now, when I go to the second queue, in the second queue, it will track the information from the previous queue. And because I didn't say to the fixtures in the first group to be at zero, the data went through. So if you want to fix it in this instance and you want to still keep it in the track mode, that basically means that you will have to, in the second queue, you'll have to select that group of lights. Okay, then you'll have to press uh, at zero, enter. So you force the values to be at zero. Then you have to merge the data with the hard values into the second queue. To do this, you press hold shift, press record, press record merge. If you know the shortcuts, you can use the shortcuts. And then you click two that stands for the step number two and then you click on the playback and that says the merged programmer with a queue number two so let's check again how it will looks like so we select run the first queue now we press go and you can see the second queue is being loaded and the first queue switched off so, what it means is, that means now, in order for, for the system to work in the tracking mode, you actually have to be very careful with how you are recording the data and what data is going to be tracked through. So, this is just a basic example for you to show the 
quick differences between the normal recording that you've, you you get used to record and the tracking record recording with the tracking. So the tracking normally used on in theaters and used on some of the TV uh, like uh, film and TVs, but normally on the rock and roll. Uh, this mode is not really popular, but again, it's completely down to you whether you want to use it or not and uh, Obviously subscribe to my channel and you will see more tutorials that I will record straight after that And you will see the differences how to switch on the tracking mode What's the what's the main differences in recording between the normal and the tracking mode the Q only mark use uh, moving dark and so on and so forth Thank you very much for joining us today and have a lovely day. Bye. Bye